Well, it's Sunday and I'm just about to head to church. I'm staying with some people here in Port Elizabeth who are part of a church just down the road. But before we go, it's vital that we close the windows because otherwise monkeys will get in and steal food. Church service is now finished and people are grabbing a tea and coffee and then afterwards people are going to go to the pastor's house for a braai which is a South African barbecue and a few of the guys said that they would teach me how to do a proper South African braai so looking forward to that but it's been a real encouragement to be able to stop here on a Sunday and come along to church and be with other Christians and uh, be in this church family. Interestingly, on this braai, they used wood rather than coal, which I've never seen in the UK, but I think it gave a really good flavour to the meat. So what's the um, what's your top tip on braaiing? Is it called braaiing? It the is braaiing, it's an African braaiing. The yeah. verb to braai. The braai, yes. <laughs> so Africans love braaiing. Top tip is to make sure that your fire is 100% right. Fine. If the fire is too hot, yep. you're going to burn the meat. Uh, uh, if your fire is too, is too cold, I mean, it's not going to cook well enough. Okay, so the top tip is basically get the temperature of the fire just right. The temperature, it's got to be 100% right and then you'll have perfect brine. I've never seen so much meat cooking before and it wasn't just burgers, it was lots of different varieties of meat. Well, the braai has finished and everybody's gone home, but it was a really fun day. I enjoyed going to church in the morning and then enjoyed meeting some of the church family members in this braai and playing games this afternoon just around the house. But uh, it's been a brilliant weekend, really nice. And the couple that I'm staying with are relatives of a friend of mine. I just find it amazing that I can travel halfway around the world and there'll be some Christians there who don't know me, don't know me at all, but who will welcome me in and who will include me as part of their family um, for the weekend. Just That's been a huge blessing and uh, it's just been really lots of fun. I've got one more Sunday here in South Africa. By then I'm hoping to be in Cape Town and then the Sunday after that I'll be back in Liverpool. So looking forward to just being part of my own church family again. <laughs>